Okay, this is going to be a, a holographic Gorgeous George, my or a slight variant of it. So it's a size 10 Hayabusa 761 in the vise. Just focus this camera first. That's it. So I like to tie most of my flies with white thread and that means you can change the colour later on if you've any lighter bodies or lighter tags that it doesn't change the colour. So I'm going to tie on a length of fine oval, oval gold and make it just go slightly around the bend. I'm going to make a, a tag probably three or four turns. Three. Four, and tie it off. Take the waist piece two thirds of the way up the body so you don't have any, any humps. At this point, I'm going to tie in a, a tail which is going to be its glow bright floss, its glow bright fluorescent. Yarn number six, orange. So cut a strand over it, or cut a strand off and double it over, and tie it in right up against your tag. So when you get to there, and trim your tail. Again, the length's up to you. I like about that length there, even slightly shorter. That's it, trim away your. That will do for another fly. At which point I'm going to catch in a length of gold wire. This is just uni wire, and it's the fine. So catch it in. Underneath again, and you want to get yourself a length of chartreuse holographic tinsel. This is wide, covers less turns, and I think it's neater. So, go right back down and catch it in a couple of mil in front of the tail, that allows you to. If you butt it right up against them, the first turn wants to go, go over the tail. And get your first turn nice and tight and then continue up the up the body until you get to about there. Leave yourself a wee bit of room. I'm going to put two hackles to go on and legs. So trim away your waist. and. I'm going to tie in a, this is a yellow saddle hackle, so tie it in and palmer the body, probably four turns of it and those first ones up a wee bit. Two, three. It's four turns there, keep your hackle tight. Until you get your first turn around on it, and then you can let go of the tip of the yellow saddle and rub it. Try not to catch too many fibres, if you catch one or two, it's okay. Pull your wire up to the front and get a turn or two in to secure it. Don't worry about a few stray fibres at the minute. any of those protruding fibres off and you can also nip away your hackle at the back there. So this bit I like to use um, knotted, it's knotted pheasant. These are ones I've knotted, this is a dyed red. So what you want is a couple or three legs for each side. So that's three legs and tie them on the far side. A 
couple of turns and another three legs for my side. Cats them two or three two or three turns and you can just position them. I'm gonna put a wee bit of wax in the thread here. I'm happy enough with that. And secure them in. Trim away your your waist and just tie the butt ends down. So at this point, I like to, this is a golden pheasant skin and it's dyed orange. So I would use the breast feathers for shrimp flies, but I also use the rump feathers for shrimp flies as well. But they're very good for these hackles on George's or other lock flies. So. Pick out a haggle and it can, doesn't need to be that short, it can be reasonably long. It gives the fly a bit of movement. So strip away your fluid, the base of the feather. So you have that and reveal the tip of the fly or the tip of the feather and tie this into the tip. Two or three turns. Again, I'm going to just put a bit of wax on the thread and secure that down. Again, come back up, the, you know, towards the bend a wee bit. It gives you a bit of room because you have to wind another hackle in front of it. This is going to give you a couple of turns max. So get your two turns on and then. Cross over your hackle stop and tighten it. Just make sure it's tight. A couple or three turns. And trim away your your waist base. For the front hackle, you can use a guinea fowl dyed blue or a grizzle dyed um, blue. This is a, a hen cape and it's grizzle. It's dyed silver doctor blue. So I want to pick a, a feather that has a slight a shorter length than the golden pheasant rump feather. So I'm gonna pick a pick one that length, slightly shorter, tie it in with the tip again. This is an Indian cape. I just need to be careful because the tip on this is very, very fine. And it will not take much to to break it, so just fold your your fibres as you wind, and try not to catch any of your pheasant rump feathers. Try and pull them out of the way. And once you get a turn on, it will hold the, the fibres back. Let's try. That's three turns there, and that's going to do me. And, and tie it down. Trim away your waist. Careful not to cut the thread. I'm just going to tidy that up and straight away, focus this camera again, straight away I'm going to whip finish it. And I like a bright head on these, so this is going to be. Oh, sorry about that. This is going to be glow bright floss, and it's it's orange, frozen orange. Just spin on a slight twist into the thread to make it finer to start off with. Once you get it caught on, you can open it out of it. So just start it at the eye of the hook, the front, and get five, four or five turns on, and then trim away your waist piece. And you can open the fibres out slightly, open the floss out. But on a couple of turns, it lays flat. Three or four turns, and then another couple of turns of the flat, and a two or three turn whip finish, and tighten up. Trim away your waist. And that just leaves you to varnish the head. Let me see if I can zoom in a wee bit to let you see that. Camera, I'll pick it up. No. Well, that 
not so. That's the fly on over. Okay, thanks very much for watching.